fellow students, Mrs. Metzger, and myself watching you right now. Today I'm going to be doing the book in a bag for the poem, Bee Tree, written by Robert Newton Peck. Let's begin. For main character, I chose a paintbrush to represent the main character's ways of making art through words. I chose a pail, because the main idea of the story is for Robert Newton Peck, his father, and farm sorta of buddy, Jacob Thatcher, to cut down a bee tree and get honey and put them in these pails. For setting, I chose syrup to represent Vermont. this clown statue. The reason is, Jacob Thatcher, who is supposed to be helping them on this trip all the way up to the bee tree, is kind of mistrustworthiness. I mean, he gives you that vibe that you don't really like him, but you want to at the same exact time. For the rising action, I chose this little piece of bark. The reason being, the rising action of the story is when Jacob Thatcher and Robert Newton Peck's father start cutting down the bee tree. For climax, I chose aloe vera to represent the bear, which was stealing the honey from the knocked down bee tree, was getting stung a lot by bees. Hey, Jackson! What? Oh. For resolution, I chose these pairs of earbuds. The reason why, Jacob Thatcher did not listen to Robert Newton Peck's father about there being a bear. So he went in and he came back climbing up a tree because he didn't listen. This birdhouse represents the new word I learned in this poem, aviary. And finally, the quote that reflects the theme. The quote is, The bushes parted. Mr. Thatcher came out faster than he'd entered. For good reason. He was being healed upon by that she-bear. The theme of the poem is about taking more than you need just because you want it, and the quote shows that Mr. Thatcher was healed by a bear because he wanted to take more than he needed. Thank you for your time, students, Mrs. Metzger, and me watching myself right now. See you during the rest of the first block. <laughs>